presentation of cartography children will share with each other the maps that they have drawn and put together they'll discuss the different hot spots and bright spots with each other cartographers were to map only the physical map what were we asked to do look at the you were supposed to look at the three lenses yes the physical social and emotional okay. how do you map a social map how do you become a cartographer of a social map or an emotional map Man, what do you think? Uh, it is when we go and ask uh, others what do they feel about it, th then we can get our social. And if you have any experience, anyone has any uh, good or bad experience, that becomes a part of your emotional mapping down. Okay. And uh, like in this also, uh, the person has made uh, smileys or sad faces. Where what are those called? Uh, hot spots. Uh, hot spots. Uh, hot spots. Yeah. So let's start looking at the vocabulary, right? <coughs> so when you map, there's a vocabulary that you use. Okay, and so this is, what is this bright spot allowing us to look at a map with? Somewhere. Ma'am, this bright spot is uh, making us look at our map in a positive way. So the positive things at a place that are there. For example, in a library, there are a lot of books. Such so a bright spot. And a hot spot is sometimes it is dull. So what did we say? What is the word we will not use when we look at cartography? Yes? Problem. Problem. Why? Ma'am, uh, that is an assumption. Uh, some groups could share their uh, mapping. We have done the water cooler. Yes. Um, we have mapped it verbally in yes. words. Um, our hot spots were that there were lot, there was a lot of water spilled over there. Now we think you're telling me what is the next step in a cartography is <coughs> now to engage. Who do you engage with? In a conglom situation, who all will you engage with? Students. Let's look at conglom. Engage with who all? Students. 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 Teachers. 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 Have you seen, has been part of a conglom? Some experts or experts maybe. Visitors. Parents. Parents. First do what it is. Then we can go to what if. Imagine. Making sense? Yes. Yes. Alright, lovely. Emotional social mapping. Uh, we saw that we were looking at the users also yes. that were there. And we found that the full key stage 2 was uh, using it. Yes. And then some of key stage 1 students used it. Yes. The teachers used it. Now comes the step of voting. What is, why should we vote? If we vote, then we can know, is there any problem that everyone is feeling? Let us look at water cooler area. So, we have one group, two groups and possibly only three groups for water cooler. The bus area. Library. Library area. Everybody most happy except for Fena. Fena what? Bathroom. <laughs> Do you think this is something everybody would like to look as an opportunity to change? Yes. Do we need permission to make the bathroom a better space? No. Okay. At the end of this session, children would have identified the hot spot or bright spot that they would together like to address as a class. It might happen that they might end up selecting two hot spots or bright spots that they would like to work on. In the next step, in the next session, children will learn how to observe and how to dig deeper about their opportunity of change.